Right, it's time for some cookery now. Flavours to celebrate. Mmm. <laughs> Hellman's sponsors this morning food. Right, John Tarode is taking the uh, hassle out of dinner time with a very easy one pot chicken pie. Ooh! Wow! I did that. I'm, I didn't really mean to do that. I'm really sorry. Wow. I was attention grabbing. That is guaranteed. That I will. I will be on edge now for about 20 minutes. The I'm whole so sorry. gallery that just does went... me. Ooh! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm well, really okay, sorry. So oh, the tension grabbing. I'm really sorry. that you've cooked a delicious pie. I am. That'll but win I, you the only thing I just yeah. wanted to say has anybody mentioned how good Alison's hair looks today? I thought it <laughs> looks no quite one, amazing. No one's told her. She'll be thrilled. You've got no her. idea. I'm very happy. Brilliant. Right. One. One. A chicken pot pie, as sometimes it's called. It's basically a, a chicken pie which is cooked in a pot and then you just put something across the top of it. And um, today I'll try to gift you with everything that goes with a good pie. Mashed potato, oh, gravy, some good veg. But the thing is, the pie itself is packed full of veg. And what's interesting, that conversation we were just having about eating and, you know, all that sort of thing. One of the things we don't do, I don't think, is put enough veg in things. And this yeah. really does the whole lot. There is cream in it, there is butter in it, that's fine. Um, but we're going to start off with two chicken breasts and four gravy. chicken thighs. In a pan, of course, the recipes are everywhere. They're all over the, the website everywhere. And some bacon, a little bit of butter and a touch of oil. And the reason we do butter and oil is that I always say that oil gives you heat, butter gives you flavour. Right. But the next thing, of course, a chicken pie needs sauce, gravy. It needs, like, to be thick. So to turn off, I just take the chicken pieces and the bacon, cut them into good-sized chunks, like the size of an ice cube, give them a little bit of <laughs> stir around, give it a bit of colour so you've got some, some nice flavour on it. And then, to that, I'm going to add um, the secret ingredient to make it taste like chicken, a chicken stock cube. Good old fucking chick fashion. Not that, that, that that's a, that's a wow. almost French stop. Stop it. What's going on today, I don't John? Know where that was that's going. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then <laughs> some garlic. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is okay. it? Is it oh, we have to apologise. <laughs> no, no, not fashion. Um, uh, garlic <laughs> and some tarragon. All right, goes in there. <laughs> Um, tarragon is an amazing, amazing herb. Quite aniseed Chicken tarragon is quite classic. So add that into there first. And then we're going to take mm. some leeks as well and give those a little bit of stir around. So leeks are quite hard. They are like an onion. They need to be cooked out a little bit. But we want to be able to thicken this and make sure that it becomes nice and thick. So the way to do that is, once it's sort of cooked like that, we sprinkle some salt and pepper on it and then some flour. So it's not a lot of flour. It's just a tablespoon of flour. OK. But what happens is the flour cooks out very, very quickly and that's just your, your thickening. But without that, you don't get a nice thick sauce. And, and so, how do you stop that? I put that in, it would go lumpy. Mm. Well, because, oh, you see, I've just sprinkled a bit across the top like that. You stir it around and it coats just the bits of chicken and the, the, all the veg, because you've got all that veg and stuff in there as well. And you don't want to cook it, the chicken and the vegetables too much because the pie is going to be baked in the oven at the end for about 40 minutes. So you need to... Just, just not too much. Does that make sense? Don't dry it out yeah. too much. Yeah. But the flour is just enough. I'm going to put that in the middle because it's a little bit faster. Um, and then... Here it goes. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I, honestly, you're it up. I, I, okay. it up. That's three things I've been told off for so far. That's it, that's it. We're out. We're done. <laughs> Finished. Right, yeah. Now, OK, to that. Now, I'm going to flavour it. Mustard. I love mustard. I think mustard is a great, great thing. It's a really good flavouring. It's also, you know, good for you. And what mustard is that? Just Dijon, Dijon. mustard. Okay. Nice and strong. Put as much as you like in there if you want to. And then I've got on the side here, I've got some chopped parsley, some frozen peas, some frozen spinach, which I've just defrosted, and some spray onions and a bit of creme fraiche. So now that we've got our sort of mixture here and the flavour mixture, as you can see, suddenly that lovely mixture there now, as the mustard and the flour is all coming together, the flour just starts to stick to the bottom of the pan and that's when you know you need to add your water. Right. And because you put your stock cube in there, your stock cube now, you've got the flavour. So your stock cube, you've got, it's going to taste like a chicken pie. Frozen spinach is a good idea. Frozen spinach, I, I love it. I've it's my go-to veg. Either. I have, it's like cubes of frozen spinach. You take it out, put it in a pan, defrost really quickly, yeah. a little bit of creme fraiche or just a touch of butter. It's a brilliant veg. Yeah, that's It's amazing. fantastic. So that goes in there. You bring that up to the boil and you see already you've now got this sauce that's happened. Add to that creme fraiche. Now, creme fraiche is interesting. It's cooked cream, so it's stable. And because it's stable, what happens is it doesn't split when it comes and boils. And it, mm. so with normal cream, what will happen, it will come to the boil, it will split because the fat will split out of it. Creme fraiche doesn't, it stays stable. Put it in there, let's have the boil. Spring onions go in. Parsley goes in. 
your sp uh, uh, spinach goes in. And if you want to put frozen peas in, put them in frozen because they'll stay green. Uh, if you put okay. them in and they're defrosted, they'll start to go grey. So put them in frozen, it does two things. One, it sort of just starts to cool that mixture down a little bit because we're going to put a top on it. But you see all that green veg is in there now because our sort of springtime veg. And you could use asparagus, you could use broccoli, whatever you wanted in there. Just it's, like that this stir This is so good. I'm glad it's you like it. It's so nice. And it's so good for children. And it's so good for everybody, I think. Mm. I mean, a good pie is a really good thing. Now, you could use puff pastry if you wanted. I'm using phyllo pastry. So what I do is I just take the phyllo pastry that I love the difference between soggy pastry and crispy pastry. I think it's a really important thing. Um, there's something about texture, like yeah. texture of a pie, textures of a fish finger sandwich. Oh. Right, a fish finger sandwich needs the right amount of soggy That's bread okay. to crispy fish fingers to sauce, same as a pie. Yeah. Okay. Right, so you've got to have this thing, so there's got to be the right proportion. So what you do, you take the, the, the filo pastry, scrunch up, there's a nice dry bit there, it doesn't work. <laughs> that goes across the top, <laughs> and then just take this, across the top again, and you keep on just taking a one layer or two layers. Thing is, with phyllo pastry sometimes, it can be a bit greasy. Okay. And so to stop it from being greasy, you start off with this bit, there, and you just stir that, put that into there, and then you take a little bit of butter, and you take a little bit of butter, and you put a little bit of butter across the top, so it's, it That's sticks. Like is this a... Yeah. Where's my butter gone? My knife, the, my, a small brush. Oh, my... <laughs> <laughs> I got a little brush. <laughs> once you, once you, once I've you've been done doing the, walls, the fence with that. That's it. Yeah. Once you've done the walls, you just come and brush it with a bit of butter. So then you just take that, you, you just put that together like that. And I'm going to put some seeds in there as well, because the nuts and seeds are the big thing that everybody's eating. Some sesame seeds across the top. They re they, they're a really nice touch, aren't they? Poppy seeds across there. Yeah. Then you take your buttered pastry, and then you do the next lot. So you put another squinchy layer across the top. This way it's not greasy. It's nice and dry across there. And that's your difference between the, the oh, crispy yeah. and the, the slightly So the soggy. crispy and the, and the... That's right. So you've got the sort of crispy versus the, the, you know, the soggy. Take that there. Then we take some more seeds across the top. That goes in the oven like that. Ta-da! For so 35 good. to 40 minutes. Take that away, John. And, of course, one here they've got earlier. Out she comes. You've got little mini ones. You can do mini ones, you can do big ones, you can do small oh, ones, that. some as big as your head. There we go. My, my, chicken pie. That was for the gallery, but because they laughed at me so much during the whole thing, oh. it's no longer going to them. It's going to the crew. Crew? Yay! There you are. Thank you very much. There we go. There you go. Everybody's been done. That was worth it. Everybody's Everybody's been been what pie. lights your fire, isn't it? Hey? Suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yep. It's absolutely It's delicious. so good. It's really so good. Really good. Thank and you. not much washing up, I No. Not, not much washing up. Good for you. Bit of chicken, lots of veg for the kids. The hidden uh, veggies. And yeah. the other thing is, it's brilliant cold. Oh, is it? Next day, great cold, yeah. Mm. Everything's better the next day. Yeah, all good in a sandwich. <laughs> in a sandwich? <laughs> chicken pie sandwich. Philip, I've come on. I've never had that. Like a bolognese sandwich. Come on. What? You've never had bolognese in a sandwich? No. Toasted sandwich with bolognese and cheese inside it? Inside like just a... Just the bolognese I mean, it sauce on it. Yeah, the well. bolognese. No, no, just bol no, no, no. Bolognese, cheese, inside a toasted sandwich, sealed up. Do you oh, know yeah. what? I've never had it, but why have I never had it? That sounds incredible. Doesn't it? <laughs> wow, I like... A bolognese sandwich. I like the sound of that. Mm. I think I would really like, because I love a pea sandwich. Yeah, good. What? Melted... You put garden peas on with... Um, we're over, but we're talking sorry, about sandwiches. Sorry. The other thing, what's um, good about it, what I love, is the stimulation. After 40 years of chef, what stimulates you is a bolognese sandwich. Well, this is yeah, brilliant. No, it, yeah, no, Yeah? Yes. Show what people want to eat. Dripping butter pea sandwich. I like amazing. peas. Actually, well. you know what? Peas with a fish finger sandwich, lots oh, of butter, tartar sauce. No, that's it. Wait, let's... I've gone to okay, heaven anyway, at that point. There we go. Nice to talk to you guys. We're, we're going to go very back much. to this. Thank you very much. For the details of today's recipe and sandwiches and whatever else <laughs> from our chefs, download our free This Morning app.